seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's turn to Acts chapter 1 and we are going to read from verses 4 to 8. Acts chapter 1 and we are reading from verses 4 to 8. Then we'll go to chapter 2 in Acts and then we'll read from verses 1 to 4. And the word of God says, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And Acts 2 from verses 1 to 4. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a, of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and one sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. I'd like to entitle this sermon, Empty Cup, Fill Me Up. Amen. Empty Cup, Fill Me Up. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, we exalt you and we praise you and we give you and you alone the glory. Matchless, holy, righteous, exalted God. We bless your name, oh God. And we thank you for the spoken word that will go forth. I pray, God, that you will covenant your word, that it will do marvelous things, O oh God, for you. It will bring glory to your holy name, that your children will understand and receive that, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit was promised as a gift to every child of God who diligently seek. Ah, we give you thanks and we bless your name and we honor you that cups are going to be filled. Empty cups will be filled as we lift them up to you. We thank you and we give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. And God's children will agree and say, Amen, amen. and amen. amen. While Jesus was on earth, he walked and he preached and as he was about to leave and to go back into his glory, to take up his glory one more time, he gave instructions to his followers. Amen. He gave instructions to his disciples. Mm -hmm. He told his disciples that they should tarry into Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Stay put. Amen. Stay put. <laughs> tarry. And if you want to use the word travail, mm -hmm. he says that you must be in one place, mm -hmm. in one accord. Oh, Lord. And he says, promise them, that the Holy Spirit will be poured out upon them. Amen. Because you see, the Holy Spirit of God is indeed that power from God. Amen. The power that will give every child of God to operate 
in the authority of God. Amen. The same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that broke the tomb apart, Amen. that rolled away that stone, weighing two tons, that same power through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, is promised to every child of God. Mm -hmm. You see, folks who actually accepted Jesus Christ as Savior mm -hmm. and Lord, sometimes, you know, you accept the Lord and you figure that, yes, you have the Holy Spirit. Indeed, once you accept God's Son, Jesus Christ, as your Savior, mm -hmm. then the Holy Spirit is given into you, unto you. You receive the Spirit of God in your heart and the Holy Spirit now is there to guide you, to kind of show you what to do, what not to do. Amen. When you actually think of doing things that you did before, Amen. the Holy Spirit is now there to tell you, no, 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 you can't do that. Amen. If you say you're a child of God. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is there as, uh, as our comforter too. Is it there as our helper, the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and every child of God has that blessing. But you see, God, through Jesus Christ, promises us, and he promised us a long time ago, that every child of God needs, needs to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. We have to go beyond you see, there are levels, and that there are different levels Amen. that you can attain in the Spirit. Amen. If you are just satisfied with the Spirit in you, just to guide you and to help you, My then that's God. okay. But I, because I know that there are Amen. other levels Amen. that I can go in the Spirit, Amen. I am not going to sit and relax, you My know. Lord. I'm going to do as, as thus said the Lord, Amen. because He told me that I should tarry. Amen. Amen. I should tarry and wait. Amen. And, and for a long time I can share with, with everyone who would listen to this message. I had a sister, a sister who was taken from us and, and she, she went before and this woman was filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And when I looked and saw her operated in the spirit, I said, no, I want, I want to get that same Amen. gift. Amen. I want to get that gift. Amen. Because you know what? I know that I cannot do anything by myself. Amen. And she was not actually doing it by herself. My Lord. And for a long time, I prayed. And I prayed and I said, Lord, Fill me up. Amen. I said, Lord, here I am, an empty cup. Amen. I want you to fill me up. Amen. Amen. And I prayed since for a long time and waited in anticipation. But to see the Lord has a way to, to, to come upon us like a mighty Amen. rushing wind. Amen. When we let's ex least expect. Amen. Amen. That's when he's going to ride in. Yes. And, if, and if you're in the right place Amen. at the right time, Amen. you are Amen. going to receive Amen. that unexpected gift. Amen. I tell you, my God, it was sometimes in 2001, May 20th, I remember that day. I will never ever forget it. And I was in my room and my sister and I were there praying and just giving God thanks. Because you see, God had sent her over to give me certain instructions. And as we were there and we decided that she was ready to go back to her home, I decided that, look, we have to pray. And we, as we were there praying, as we were there praying, Lord. And I started to give God thanks for whatever he had said he was going to do. My God, there came this mighty rushing wind Hallelujah. and it stood upon me. And, and believe you me, I was, I was on my back. Lord. And God, as he had promised, started to fill my empty cup. Amen. He filled me up. Amen. And I know in my heart that God doesn't want to only do it for me. Amen. 
Amen. Or for those whom he has already filled. Amen. But it is a blessing promised to the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. But you see, some folks really don't believe it. My Lord. What a sad tale. My Lord. Because the devil in hell, every promise that Jesus Christ promised to his people, mm -hmm. the devil in hell want to, to send some kind of message to say, no, nothing goes like that. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the church of Jesus Christ, a majority of folks uh, that are in the church of Jesus Christ, doesn't receive that message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't receive it, then that's okay. Because you know what? That's not for you indeed. Mm -hmm. And it's all right if you want to continue to operate, you know, in a mediocre mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a way that mm -hmm. is mediocre. I know that there's nothing about any kind of mediocre mm -hmm. when it comes on to Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. He wants to fill up every child Amen. of his. Yes, 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 yes. He wants to fill us real up. Amen. Empty cup. Fill me up. Amen. I know that God, Jesus Christ is poisoned and, and is waiting patiently. Oh, yes. Waiting patiently to fill up a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Because the promise was meant for every child of God yes. who would receive Jesus Christ in their heart yes. as Savior and Lord. Amen. John chapter 20 and from verses 21 to 22 confirms that Jesus actually he said to them my peace I give to you as the father has sent me I also send you and when he had said this he breathed on them mm -hmm. and said to them receive the Holy Spirit Amen. if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven. Oh, and if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. What an authority My Lord. that is given to the church of My Jesus Lord. Christ. What an authority. And we, we, we read it also in Acts chapter 2 that the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were very obedient. Yes. You see, they had seen their Savior operated in a lot of, with a lot of power and authority. authority. Power yes. over demons. Yes. Authority over demons. My Lord. He was able to, to heal folks that were lame. Mm -hmm. And he says greater things that you will do because yes. I'm going back to my yes. Father. Yes. And the disciples received that in their hearts. Yes. You see, they wanted to do these greater things Amen. that Jesus Christ told them Amen. that they would do once Amen. he went back to his Father Amen. and that the Holy Spirit would be poured out upon them. Amen. So they were obedient. Mm -hmm. The scripture confirms they actually remained in Jerusalem because they could not go out yet with the message mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ because Jesus had warned them that, yes. no, look, there are a lot of wolves out there. Amen. They will mess you oh, up. Yes. You got to wait for the power to be endowed upon you. Amen. You got to wait for this fire that is burning inside of you. Amen. And it cannot be quenched. Amen. Preach. You know, so what happened, the, the, the disciples remained in place. Amen. They stayed in Jerusalem, I'm sure that they were there praying and they were in yes. one accord. You see, nobody wanted to go this way or that way. Amen. They were there in one accord. Amen. And I think this is what the church of Jesus Christ lacks yes. today. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one accord thing. Yes. People are pulling here and yes, there. Yes. And that is all by the devil's yes, work. Yes, yes. Because he wants to create chaos mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And once there's chaos, then the spirit, oh no, 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 no. The Holy Spirit of God cannot operate in such, such an environment. Mm -hmm. But these disciples remained consistent to the directives of Jesus Christ. They remained in Jerusalem. Amen. 
And they were there in that upper room praying Amen. and just waiting in anticipation. Amen. And the word of God confirms in Acts chapter 2 from verses 5 to 13. And the word says, And they were dwelling in, in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, from, a, from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, oh, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Mm -hmm. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? Mm -hmm. And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? Hmm. Parsians and Medes mm -hmm. and Elamites, mm -hmm. those dwelling in Mesopotamia, mm -hmm. Judea and Cappadocia, mm -hmm. Pontus and Asia, Phygia and Pamphylia, mm -hmm. Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and the Polythes, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. Amen. So they were amazed My Lord. and perplexed, My Lord. saying to one another, What could this mean? Mm -hmm. Others mocking said they were full of new wine. Just as what Jesus promised, mm -hmm. as they were there waiting, there came the Holy Spirit of God Amen. and filled them up Amen. and they were speaking in tongues. Amen. Different tongues, languages, that the, the others who were there couldn't even believe and understood. And they started to say that they were full of new wine, that they were drunk. Mm -hmm. You see, when God baptizes you and bless you with his Holy Spirit, a lot of folks can understand. Mm -hmm. Lord. A lot of folks will actually look at you and they will say all different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But we know that Jesus Christ promised this blessing yes. to his church. Amen. If, our, if we have to operate by the power of God's Holy Spirit, we need this baptism. Amen. Amen. We cannot operate, folks, with our empty cups. My Lord. We have empty cups and we are walking around. And when Jesus Christ is there saying, I am here to fill you up. Amen. I want to get you well filled so that Amen. you can operate in authority. You can walk with that authority. You can speak with that authority, with that boldness. Amen. We cannot do it by ourselves. Amen. It has to be through the power of God's Holy Spirit. Yes. Micah 3 and 8 verses 8 confirms that. The word says, but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgression and to Israel, his sin. You see, when God pour out his Holy Spirit upon you, then he's going to use you as prophets to send you out. Amen. And to make a difference in the world. Amen. At some point, he will give you a message to preach. My Lord. Amen. And he will give you that message and you will have to preach it as, as thus saith the Lord. Amen. Anyone whose God's anointing is upon tell you the truth they cannot water the amen. word of god amen they're going to speak it as thus said the lord amen because the power of the holy spirit is the one who propels them amen and quickens them amen to do it the power of the holy spirit my dear it is critical amen. i tell you it is critical in a day like today for god's people to be filled you know, with that power. David knew so well yes. that the Spirit of God is important. It is vital for yes. him. 
Because when David found himself at a very low place, mm -hmm. we all knew what ha know what happened with David. Mm -hmm. And David in Psalm 51 cried yes. out to God. My Lord. When he found himself in that valley, My Lord. and he looked up before God and looked up unto God, he cried out in Psalm 551 and from verses 10 to 11. And he says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. David was very aware that he couldn't function in that world where he lived without the power of the Holy Spirit to be poured out in him and to consistently live and operate in him. Fill me up then, my empty cup. It, I think that's a cry for every child of God to pray. As cups that are empty, day by day, we ought to lift them up before our Lord and ask him to fill us up Amen. because we cannot operate you know there are certain folks who sometimes go about and they they swear to God that they are filled I mean I don't know but it's that situation on our a, a, spe a specific time when whatever if it happened that you cannot forget it Amen. It's clear in your mind. Amen. And you're going to remember that awesome encounter Amen. with your Lord. Amen. It's a time that you will never forget, saints. My Lord. And I'm sure undoubtedly you will record it mm -hmm. because it is so profound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God fill your empty cup, My Lord. take away everything from you. <laughs> When you think you had that free will to do, he disarmed you and he now operates fully in you. Amen. He lifts you to another level Amen. and you now operate totally under the spirit of Almighty God. Amen. Peter knew well, Peter knew very well about this poem because Peter was one of the disciples who were there waiting and was filled. Amen. He went and he was preaching this sermon and he was bold Amen. when he was speaking to the Judeans. Mm -hmm. He looked them in the eyes and he told them in no uncertain way that you got to change. Amen. Peter in Acts chapter 2 from verses 14 to 18 explained but Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words. Amen. For these are not junk as you suppose, yes. since it is only the third hour of the day. Mm -hmm. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, mm -hmm. says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Amen. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit Amen. in those days. Hallelujah. And they shall prophesy. Hallelujah. I love that. Amen. Jesus. A promise that was promised to all flesh. Amen. And yet some folks totally miss it. My Lord. Some folks totally miss the message. I don't believe in speaking with tongues. <laughs> I don't believe in it. Hallelujah. Nothing like that. <laughs> it was only meant for those in the past. Lord. It's are we really serving a God who changes? Aren't we worshiping a God who is from everlasting to everlasting? Aren't we worshiping a God who never changes? And that whatever he says there, it is for now, then, and forever. Amen. And it is for God's people to get that straight. 
and start to look to the Lord to fill their um, empty cups. Mm -hmm. Fill my cup, Lord, because it has been empty. Sin has made our cups totally empty. And it is for us, my God, we cannot operate unless we have the power of the Holy Spirit of God operating within us. There is a popular story about a man who actually bought a refrigerator and he went home very excited because he got this new refrigerator he was using this one that was old and sh in shambles and and he was excited when they delivered uh, the, the, the refrigerator and he came and and when they left it there he had it there and he had it all cleaned and he packed his stuff very neatly in in, in the refrigerator and he closed the door and then he went away and then went back and he says, no, it's time for me to get a cold drink of water. I want to enjoy my refrigerator. Mm. And when he went back, the refrigerator was warm inside. Mm -hmm. And he says, what is this? This is a new refrigerator. I cannot imagine why it's not working. Mm -hmm. So he was very upset and angry and he called up the store. He dialed. He says, look. You guys come and take this refrigerator out of my home. I, I, I want a cold drink of water and, and the fridge inside, it's warm. I want you to come right now and, and take it out of my home. I don't need it anymore. Give me back my money. And they made well to his request. Mm -hmm. They came and when the, the serviceman came, he, he went and he says, okay, we'll pull it out and, and we'll take it back. But when the service man pulled the refrigerator out, he looked and he saw that the fridge was not plugged in into the electricity. My Lord. So all the guy did was just took the cord and he plugged it in. My Lord. And once he plugged it in, the refrigerator started to roll. Mm -hmm. it, he, you could hear the sound when the electricity hit it. Power. And you hear the power roaming inside of it. Amen. 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 And the man, the service man looked at him and he says, all you had to do was to plug it in. And, and you know, children of God, it's the same way. Our lives are actually synonymous to that same refrigerator. We cannot operate unless we're plugged into the source. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God that Amen. gives us that power Amen. and to ignite us. Yes, yes. And yes. to give us that power to, to operate. My Lord. We've got to be filled, folks. Yes, yes, yes. Don't let the devil mess with your mind or and tell you that no, look, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Those are for folks who lose their mind. <laughs> Folks who speak in tongues, come on. They're talking gibberish. The devil is a liar. Every plan that God has planned and every blessing that, that Jesus Christ has proposed for his children, the devil wants to rob them of it. He wants them to be living a life that is mediocre and for him to have them roughing and pulling and telling them all kind of nonsense yes. and for them to believe it mm. because he knows that when you're under the power of the spirit mm -hmm. he knows that when you're filled with the spirit of god he knows that when your cup is filled my lord my lord when this cup is filled yes the devil knows that he cannot play with you. Amen. He comes and, and trust me, he has to he has to go. Amen. 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 Because that authority and My power Lord. that you have, and when the power of God ignites in you, my God, he there's no way he can ever stand My around. Lord. Amen. Romans 8, 9 to 17 confirms, but you are not in the flesh mm -hmm. or in the spirit if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Amen. Now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. My Lord. 
And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies amen, amen. through his spirit who dwells in you, amen. through the power of God who amen. operates in you. Yes. Therefore, we are no longer any bastards, Lord. but we are elevated yes. to sonship amen. through the spirit of God. And the word continues to say, therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. Mm -hmm. You will wither away, wither away without the Spirit of God. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Amen. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God, says the word. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. Mm -hmm. But you receive the spirit of adoption, Hello. who we cry out, Abba, Father. Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirits yes. that we are children of God. And if children, then hears, hears of God and joined hears with Christ. Amen. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him. Amen. God is poised to pour out his spirit upon us thank you jesus we have we are we have these empty cups my lord and god is ready to fill them up my lord and it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour out my spirit on all flesh i will pour out my spirit on all flesh yes. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy you will be given my god all these anointing upon your lives. And God is able now to use you effectively in the body of Christ. Amen. Yes, it is for us, church. It was not promised only to the disciples mm -hmm. in the past. Yes, God wants to fill our empty cups. Amen. But we have to keep holding them up. We have to be vigilant. We have to tarry yes. sometimes for years. Amen. we got to keep our minds on that price. Amen. And when God sees that we are diligent, Amen. he says, those that diligently Amen. seek me, he says he's a rewarder Amen. of those Amen. that do so. Amen. Amen. And it is for God's people Amen. to get that. Yes. Fill my cup, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Fill my empty cup. Lord, Lord, Lord. I indeed baptize you with water. That is John the Baptist. My Lord. John the Baptist knew that Jesus Christ was coming. And he was coming to redeem. And once he redeemed us, then he was ready to fill us up. Amen. And John said it in a prophecy when he preached and cried out. He says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Mm -hmm. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I. Yes. Whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. My, Lord. My God. His winnowing fan is in his hand. Mm -hmm. And he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor. And gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn the chaff. He will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Lord. It is for us to lift up our empty cups. Yes. Cups perhaps that might be half filled. Cups quarter filled. It will not satisfy with any other cup. But the cup that is filled and running over. Hallelujah. With the anointing power of Amen. God Amen. Almighty. Amen. That's that cup that I want to carry. Yes. A filled cup. Amen. It is a filled cup that I want to carry. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon him. 
And all those who heard the word, Peter was such a mighty, a mighty man of God. Amen. Peter, after he failed Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he, was, he was resolute Amen. that this time I am going to mm -hmm. never Amen. Let my Lord down. Amen. When God, he says, when Jesus Christ gave me a second chance, Amen. I am going to use that chance wisely. Amen. I'm going to make sure that I'm filled with this power. Oh, Lord. And I'm going to go forth by God. And I am going to make sure that when I'm filled, that I'm able to do a work Amen. that is above every work. Amen. Amen. In him you also trust, also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, wow. the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, Amen. who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession Amen. to the praise of his glory. And that word is confirmed in Ephesians 1 from 13 to 14. Amen. Indeed, the Holy Spirit of God is our guarantee. Amen. It is a seal for Amen. us. It is a seal because friends and brethren, brothers and sisters, we are not able to operate. We are not able to finish this journey without the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We need the Spirit of God. We need the Spirit of God. Amen. Peter had that Spirit that was just bubbling over in him. That he had gone to this island of Pathos. And when he was there, he found a certain saucer, the Word of God confirmed in Acts 13. Mm -hmm. A false prophet. A Jew whose name was by Jesus, mm -hmm. who was with the proconsul, mm -hmm. Sergius Paulus, mm -hmm. an intelligent man. Mm -hmm. This man called for Bar Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. But Elamas, the sorcerer, for so his name is translated, withstood them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, O oh, full of all deceit and all fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all, unright all righteousness, will you not cease preventing the straight ways of the Lord. And now indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you, hmm. and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him, hmm. and he went around seeking someone to lead him Amen. by the hand. Hmm. My, my God Lord, Almighty, my what an authority for God's people to operate in. My Lord. What an authority for the power of God's Holy Spirit mm. to move yes. within his people. My Lord. Then the proconsul believed, and when he saw what had been done, being astonished at the teaching of the Lord, here was Peter and Paul, and they were able to actually cast blindness on the sorcerer mm -hmm. who was trying to block the word of God and for Amen. his people to receive salvation. Lord. We need brothers and sisters. We need our empty cups to be filled. Amen. We cannot operate by an empty cup because surely God wants to fill our cup. He wants to fill them yes. way up. My Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Mm -hmm. Come and quench the thirsting 
of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. When Jesus Christ is ready to fill your cup, he is going to keep pouring and pouring, and it is going to be filled. Yes. And it will keep running over. My Lord. He has the power and the authority yes. to do it. Yes. And it is for God's people. It is for God's people to poise themselves. Yes. And be ready for Jesus Christ. My Lord. To do it. My Lord. He wants to do it for all of you. He's going to pour within you until you My cannot Lord. contain. My Lord. Thank He's you, going Jesus. to do it. Thank you, Jesus. And it is for us Thank to get you, to Jesus. that place. Thank you, Lord. He is going to keep pouring Thank and pouring Jesus. and pouring. Thank you, Lord. He is going to pour and to pour and to pour because you, He has the authority to do it. Amen. I am encouraging every child of My God Lord. to lift your empty cups My Lord. and let Him fill it up. Mm. Fill my cup, Lord, My Lord, and fill it up. Fill it up until I want no more. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Let me go. 